be in our work talks in an unboxing means. Let's have a look at with this example and also learn about array lists and lists. So here, as you can see, I have an array list date type and this is the variable name and I'm just creating the blank array list using the new keyword. Here I have an integer being declared and that holds the value 10. Now, when you add an item to this list, so that's the variable name and I'm adding the variable num into this list, what happens is since int is a value type, so here this is a value type and it's stored on the stack. Stack is think of it as easy to access memory within the computer and it's faster and you can store intrinsic types or native types very quickly on it while objects are stored on the heap. So here, since array list over here is of type object or accepts anything, so you can add numbers, text or classes and so on, it stores it on a memory core the heap. So what happens is when you have this value over here being added to the array list, it converts it and puts it in a box like this, puts it in a box and then stores it on the heap. And this is because not only can you add integers in here, you can add other things such as text. So if I do this and you can see, I can add the word hello and you can see the compiler had not complained and it says it's fine there are no issues with this this is because it boxes everything so it boxes this number and it boxes the word hello and stores it on the heap rather than the stack heap think of it as like over here and stack although it's smaller it's over here and how stack is spread is you've got different places like this on a stack while heap is stored like this and you've got various different objects so you can have objects of different sizes and so on so it can pretty much store anything and here you can see when you have to then convert that back into an integer you have to use a technique called unboxing so it means converting the object bit type back into an integer and this is what causes more processing to happen while here so that's what is called an array list but if you use a list here the list accepts generic data types so basically it lets you use generics to say actually exactly what data you want so in this instance we've gone this list too needs to contain integer lists only so here again we're adding the value 10 and then you see when we convert it back there is no longer any need to do this conversion so you don't need to do this over here and you basically assign the value to an integer without converting and here as you can see when i try and add the word hello i get an error whereas here i didn't get an error because array lists accepts any data type so that's why it's stored on the heap as an object while list over here is not stored as an object it actually stores the integer values so here you can see the error we are getting cannot convert from string to int this is because we only accept integers here so if i run this program and as you can see we get the value in both but this is more expensive because you have to convert an object back into an integer while with a list using generics and int you don't need to do the conversion and it is faster